Hi everyone, I'm Nano Kitty Chan, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you my Victor Nikiforov collection. So starting out, I do obviously own a couple of figures that have been released for him, such as this one, and this is the 1/8 scale Victor by Kotobukiya from their Artifacts J line, and I love this figure of him. He is in his black coaching attire, sitting on a bench with the infamous Mukachin tissue box beside him. But in general, there aren't a lot of figures with desk-friendly sitting poses like this one. So I love the fact that you can pretty much place him anywhere. I also do have the 1-8 scale Victor by Mega House from their GEM line and it is him in mid skating pose, famously known online for that booty sculpt which is prominent I must say but very much accurate. This one also comes with a little Makachin figurine and of the Victor figures, I'd say the face for this one is the best, as well as the booty. His Nendroids though are probably my favorite as they come with so many of his key accessories from the show to switch up his poses. His first Nendroid sporting his free skate outfit which is my personal favorite of his and second Nendroid in his coaching attire much resembling his Kotobukiya figure. I also did buy a duplicate of his free skate outfit just to have another head to use on some of the extra Nendroid bodies like the Nendroid Morn business suits and also the Halloween outfit as well. In the realm of figures, I also do have the free skate pop vinyl of him as well as the young version of him with his blue flower crown which I do wish there were more figures for, but this pop vinyl will have to do for now. Moving on to plush, I have the Honey Babe version of him from Good Smile Company's Orange Rouge line. Likewise, I have his Sweet Time Ichiban Kuji prize plush from Banpresto. Next, I have collected all of the Mochi Mochi mascot Yuri on Ice plushies that look like Tsum Tsums, but I specifically keep all of the Victor ones together and purchase the sets that came with the extra different versions of him. I also wanted to include Makachins as well because it is his dog, so it goes with the collection. Now, I don't usually go out of my way to purchase clear files as I don't really have a use for them, but when I saw the art for this one, I absolutely had to snag it up. Victor looks absolutely stunning in it. And of course, with him and Yuri together hand in hand with the ring and matching outfits, it was amazing. I had to get it. Lastly, I do want to show off a bit of my Victor Eda bag. I've only put on my most favorite merch items as well as some plush because I do want to eventually get a bigger bag, but it is this green aqua color that Victor's merch is usually themed around, and I thought adding a blue flower crown would be a nice ode to the younger version of his character. But because it's so small in nature, I can't fit all of the merch that I want to on it, but I will show a clip of some of the other keychains and things that I have collected over the years. And if you'd like a separate video on making that one once I do get a new one, or just eat a bags in general, let me know down below as I have been wanting to make one and feature a few others that I have been working on as well. So I've gotten these from a variety of places including Ami Ami, Aitaikuji, Mandarake, individual sellers on Etsy and Storm V, but also at a few cons as well. But that is all for my Victor Nikiforov collection. He is my anime bay, and I can only hope that they'll make even more figures for him as I would love to grow that specific part of my collection. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I try to put out new videos as much as I can, but if you'd like to follow me on a more regular basis, I do have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same name here. Otherwise, don't forget to smile, and I'll see you next time.